This episode is sponsored by Amazon Games. I'm Kerry Stagmer, and we are the blacksmiths of Baltimore Knife and Sword. We're going to be building some of your favorite things and fantastic objects you've never seen before. This is Man at Arms, Reforged. Welcome back to episode two of Berserker from Lost Ark. This uh, sword is really moving along. You know, it's a very large piece. We're going to be basically putting things together making sure they all fit, and then we have to take pretty much the whole thing back apart and refinish every single piece of the sword. Ellen and Derek have spent an incredible amount of time so far on the lion heads, and they're really beginning to take shape. They'll get those finished while the rest of the team is working on everything else for this sword. But for now, let's get back to work. We've got all of the major details sorted out now. Uh, we've got the brows situated. We've cut off a tremendous amount of material around the edges. The jaw line's situated. So next up, we've got to get the eyes going. Yeah, we're going to punch it right in the eye from the back to raise it up. And then we'll go back in and do some chasing repose work to get the details. Probably use a ball peen hammer to isolate the heat back there and push it out. And then go in uh, with pitch and do some chasing repose work. We're incredibly thin in the eye sockets and in the tips of the nose because of how much relief we have yeah. in this. We're just having to be extra careful, especially when we get into these eyes. We're gonna have to take a lot of precautions. like we're pretty even now. We've got both ends tapered out. Next, we'll cut it in half after it cools off. We'll take it to the vise, heat it up again, put the bends where we need to, and then we'll be one step closer to our pommel. Derek now steps in with an extra set of hands to help Kevin. He's gonna be holding these in place on the anvil as Kevin begins to form these from spikes into horns. So we don't have a lot of round parts on this weapon, but we do have a piece on the handle. And it's kind of a ferrule at the top of the handle underneath of the chin of the lions. It ties really the entire handle area and that entire guard section together and all the pieces come up to it and blend. So it's a pretty important part. I've got some oversized stock. I'm about three inches here. Um, and I only need, you know, two and three quarters. So I'm gonna cut it down to size and then I'm gonna cut the basic form of it and then we're gonna make kind of a ramped angle that's gonna go underneath of the chins, and that's gonna tie in the whole thing, and we'll see that when the guys get it in the other room.
Now that we have the first half of our blade edge assembled, welded, and fitted, it's time to do the second half. Because of the complex shape, it's quite difficult to fit. So we're going to have to drive it onto the body, fit it, locate it, and then I can weld it. So this is the first blade of the Berserker Sword. I'm gonna have to go in, grind this edge down. I'm gonna have to be really careful because once I get to this weld area here, this is really thin sheet metal and it's gonna be really easy to mess it up if I go too hard. So we're working on the finishing touches of these lions right now. So we're getting in just the detail work up in the mouth. We did a lot of detail in the nose. Apparently this lion is swole and has a six pack on its nose according to the drawing. So we have incorporated that in our pieces. I think we've done a pretty good job of getting these forms manipulated into the right shape. I'm in the final stages of getting this thing uh, finished up. I've just got a little bit of work to do here in the lip just to define this a little better and get rid of some of my chisel marks. Uh, but we're basically ready to pull this off of the pitch and start cutting into it to add the main to it. So we have a fair number of different pieces that we've cut out that are essentially templates. You know, I cut these out to match the drawing of the nose. Some of these templates have to be cut different for the bend allowance as we create a 3D form. But we're only coming out about two inches on this piece. And since that's the case, I was able to just take these over the anvil, bend them. They're 12 gauge steel, so they've got a fair amount of weight to them. Even with the edges touching now, I've got basically the distance that I need to create this nose cap. But for now, I'm gonna get this together, weld it up on here, and this will get us moving forward on our structure. completed the power tool steps, we've moved on to the hand sanding and the final finishes. As I do that, I continue to illuminate the piece so I can check the final finish against what we'll have once we mount this on the sword.
All right, next thing we have to do, I have to take these pieces of inch and a half round stock and to make the spikes that come out the top of the sword, our berserker sword. And I need to make these square and draw them out to a point. Once, once we got a rough shape, I'll bring it back here, finish it off by hand, we'll get it all smoothed out, and then we'll be ready to have them installed. So you've seen how we've created these forms. They're getting closer and closer to the final shapes that we need. There's an incredible number of pieces that go into something that's over eight feet tall. Now we have to take it apart and make every piece absolutely perfect before we put it back together and get the final shape. Make sure to come back for episode three to see the final form of this berserker sword from Lost Ark. Click here to subscribe or click here to see more episodes. Thanks for watching Man at Arms Reforged. We need to know what you want the team to build. Tell us in the comments below what you would like to see.